I can do this without looking. See, I better get that real quick. It is way undercut. Now I've done it. <laughs> I can't get my feet on anything. Yeah, I'm hanging. Come on, feed. <laughs> I'm making this look really graceful, huh?
Ahora.
Whoa. Woo. All right. So, from this corner here, I laid about 520 feet of line. I got down to a maximum of almost 30 feet. Um, stayed pretty level. Um, I came back into air passage again, and uh, it, I tied off, and I went and I looked on around the corner, and there's a little canyon that keeps going. Uh, pretty high ceiling too, higher than this. Well, maybe about like this. But uh, I started getting real cold, and visibility is horrible. Um, I may have got you some film of a fish. There was a couple of them that I'm pretty sure are minnows from the surface, but there was one that I believe is cave adapted fish. Hopefully the camera caught it. Yes. High ceiling, yeah. So, right before I found the air-filled cave, I came across a gravel, a gravel section that's coming up, and it wasn't very wide, the, but it's clear, it's gravel. So there's water flowing up that gravel slope, but I didn't want to go down for some reason. I just didn't want to go down that smaller hole. Um, and that's when I started coming on up and come up into the dry filled cave. So, upstream would have been down that gravel slope. So, so the dry filled cave may not go very far is what I'm thinking. Well, I don't know because if that was the upstream, there would be no reason for it to erode it going on around the corner, you know? More mysteries.